Odin charcoal burning accounts for almost about 50% of the household energy consumption in Senegal, contributing to air pollution and deforestation. Now, to reduce ecological damage, an association called Nebede, which means tree in Wolof, the predominant local language in Senegal, has hired villages to produce biochar, which can be used as a fuel at home. Our next report gets you all the details. Half of Senegal's household rely on wood or wood charcoal. To combat air pollution and deforestation, a cooperative of women produce biochar, an energy source made from straw. They burn it and mix the charred straw with clay and water. The end result is a carbon-neutral organic charcoal that does not involve chopping down trees. The mixture is pressed and stored, resulting in about 150 pallets of biochar per day. The initiative is diversifying the economy of a rural region where many eke out a living from livestock and fishing. First of all, this biochar protects the forest, it protects our homes, it protects our supplies, it protects women, it protects the forest that no longer burns, it protects our lives. It is healthy. We thank God for this. Biochar production has been launched in 18 villages in the region by the Nebedai Ecological Association, a name that means tree in the Wolof language. To fight deforestation, the group also plants trees in big cities and small villages alike. Since the beginning of the year, they have planted more than a million trees throughout the country. Nebedai director Jean Gop says that putting straw to good use has an added advantage. Straw, which is the raw material of our biochar, in fact conveys thousands of bushfire across the country in the dry season. So reducing the straw is reducing bushfires and therefore preventing young trees from dying in the forests. So by consuming one kilogram of straw charcoal, we save the forest twice. The benefits can be seen in Senegal's Jiller Forest, patrolled by ranger Biram Ging, who was born nearby. Ging lacks the authority to arrest those he catches cutting down trees. Rather, he reports infractions to a local village chief. Ging says rising delta waters have salted the land, posing an additional environmental challenge. Deforestation is caused by, one, the harmful cutting of trees, illegal cutting by the population. Two, there are brush fires which can ravage miles of forest. Three, the advance of salt from the sea to the forests. The African Union's Great Green Wall Initiative is focusing on the Sahel, among other regions, to prevent desertification. The Biochar project and efforts to combat deforestation are a vital piece of the puzzle. Estelle Janjo for VOA News, Dakar, Senegal. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever.